about that high, chest high in here. This is all my workshop. As floodwaters rose around Chris Warner's home in Gympie, he saved his most loved possessions. Just grabbed me dog and a couple of bags and me wheelie walker and waded out through to a high spot. His dog Nick was his best friend and only companion. But a week after losing his home and belongings, Mr Warner had to say goodbye to Nick too, putting him up for adoption because pets aren't allowed in his new home. Very difficult. Yeah, still is, will be for a long time. I've had him for seven years since he was a mistreated pup, basically. Skin and bone, and then we just made friends. This Sunshine Coast Rescue Ranch is overrun with kittens. It's raining kittens. They're dropping from the sky. Saving dozens from being put down. We've still got calls coming in right now. We even had extra kittens put on transport today so they weren't euthanised. Horses are also being surrendered in record numbers. The RSPCA is trying to protect other animals from suffering the same fate, hosting a community day for pet owners, offering free food and vet services. I think it's wonderful, yeah. It helps people that are a bit um, not very financial, especially at the moment with the floods. Vets are checking for health problems caused by the deluge. We'd be looking for skin issues and ear issues and anything that so where they get hot and moist. There's been a happy ending for Nick and his new owner. He's definitely one of the family now. <laughs> Meg Bolton, ABC News Gympie.